Alright, so welcome to my channel and let's look at this question, this um, complex question. Now, let's solve each of the equation for z equal to a plus bi. So, in the first one, we have 5 plus 6i being equal to 1 plus i here. Multiplies the whole a plus b i here. So, we have um, v here, 5 plus 6i being equal to 1 plus i here. Then we have a plus b i here. So, yeah, so we have this, and so um, we have 5 plus 6 here being equal to the whole of this multiplies the whole of that. So we have 1 times a here as a plus 1 times b i here as b i. Then we have i here times this as a i here plus. Then we have um, i here times b i as b i squared. Okay, so we have 5 plus 6 here being equal to a plus b i plus a i. Now we know i squared is this, um, negative 1. We have i squared to be negative 1. Yeah, so we have i squared to be negative 1. I squared to be negative 1, so we know we have 5 plus 6i being equal to a plus bi plus ai minus b. Now, what we are going to do next is group the real part and the imaginary part. So, we have 5 here being a real part, 6i being imaginary. We have we can have 5 minus a being the real part, and we can have this a plus b here being the imaginary part. So, we equate the real part. To that of the real and we create the equal the imaginary part equal to that of the imaginary so we have five here being a minus b then we have um six here being equal to that a plus b so now what we can do is to add equation so let's say equation one and equation two so we add equation one and equation two so adding equation 1 and equation 2, we have um, a minus b here being equal to 5 here, and we have a plus b here being equal to 6 here. So when we add them, we can have 2a, negative b plus b goes away, it goes away. So it's not, so being equal to 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, divide here by 2, we can write here by 2. And we can have our a to be 11 over 2. So we have a to be 11 over 2. Now what we can do next is to put equation 1 into. We can put equation 1 or. And what we can do is to put the value of a which is a 11 over 2 into equation 1. Equation 1 in so equation 1 so we have 5 here being equal to a minus b we have 5 here being 11 over that so we have um, 11 over 2 minus that of b so we group like terms grouping like terms this goes to the other side or oh, we that is so we bring b here and we take it over there so we have b equal to 11 over 2 minus 5 so 11 over 2 minus 5 Therefore, we can have 11 over 2 minus 5 is this, um, having 1 over 2. Yeah, we have 1 over 2. So, therefore, our A equal to 11 over 2 and our B equal to 1 over 2. As compared to this, as compared to what we have said. Now, let's look at the B part. Now, in the B part, we are asked to find, um, this so we have z being equal to z minus 2z that plus 7 equal minus 6 sorry minus 6i so minus 6i now if z equal to a plus bi then our z bar 
here is just a minus z i so in this case we just replace z bar here by this whole thing here okay so we have z minus 2 z bar plus 7 minus 6 i now we can have z here to be a plus b so a plus b i here minus 2 and we have our z bar to be a minus b i here plus 7 minus 6 i and we have a plus b i 2 multiplies that and we have negative 2 a negative 2 multiply negative b i we have positive 2 b i plus 7 minus 6 i a now in this case we have um, our so what we can do next is, is to group the imaginary part and that of the um, that of the real part so let's see this equal to zero so we can have our real part we can have the real part to be this here and we can have another one here we can have b plus 2b here we can have this and let's take this to the other side so taking it to we have negative 6 plus 6i here now we compare the real part so we have the real part equal to the real and we have the imaginary here imaginary here equal to the imaginary so equate this to that and this to that so we have a minus 2a being equal to a minus 2a being equal to negative 7 a and we have negative a being equal to negative 7 and therefore we divide both sides by negative 1 then we can therefore say that a is equal to so therefore therefore a is 7 and we equate this to that of that so we have b plus 2 b being equal to 6 we have 3 b here being equal to 6 we divide it by 2 we divide this side by 2 so 3 we divide both sides by 3 so this comes to that this comes here 1 this goes here 2 we have our b equal to 2 so therefore a equal to 7 and b equal to 2 yeah. so thank you very much for joining me in this section and we'll meet for another section